Hi, this is Tweek. In this episode, we're going to reflect upon mirrors. We'll create a lovely mirror that will fit into any decor, depending on what you choose to make it with. Join me. We'll have some fun. We're going to make a mirror. Some of the supplies you'll need for that is some MDF board that you cut out and sand, some tiles you can find anywhere at any home improvement store, or maybe have some kicking around in your basement or in your garage. They're all good. We only need a little bit of tile to go around the edge of our mirror. We need some mirror tiles, and we need a little bit of paint and some glue, and that's just about it. We'll find something to hang on your wall that's absolutely gorgeous and will reflect what you like to see in your own environment. So we have our 12 by 12 tile mirror measured out. I have the amount of edging I'd like on this mirror. And there's a hole that has been drilled in for the hanging that will be covered up by the mirror and by the tiles. Some of it will show through, so I want a dark background on this frame. So I will go ahead and do that first. Regular black paint and a brush, and away we go. Okay, I've got a black matte paint that goes around the edging. You won't see a lot of this edging because the tile's gonna cover it up, but I wanted, if you look through the tile, you would see the black and not this uh, MDF wood. So what I'm gonna do next is place the mirror. Now, what I did was I got a package of mirror tiles, uh, 12 by 12. They came six to a package, which is pretty good for 10 bucks. And the reason why I left this open was to help guide me to place the mirror because that's one of the hardest parts of this was for me was once you lay down the glue and lay the mirror it's going to stick so you have to try to be as careful as you can to lay the mirror where you want it to be then we'll go around with tile so take a mirror and then I'm going to see how I did here that looks like a pretty good fit so I'm going to pull the mirror back, I like what I see here, add some glue and carefully lay it back down. The little piece here where the hanger goes, that'll be covered up with tile. Let's go to the next step. So in placing the glass tile, the mirror tile, onto the board, I've made all kinds of fingerprints, but we'll wash those off later. Right now, making sure it's stuck, and it is, then I took a little bit more of the paint and went around the edges to make sure you don't see any of the wood. This part in here where the hanger is going to go in the back, that won't be seen. Next is to pick our tile. Now, I chose a tile. It was in the reduced area of my hardware store, so I picked it up because I thought, that looks very pretty. And the, to use this, it's very simple. I'm just going to cut apart the pieces. They're held together by a web. And I'm going to use that web to affix it to the wood. And I cut between the tiles to get my pieces, and then I'll work out the pattern as I go. So we've got our mirror placed. We've put a matte finish on the board, and I cut out the strips of the ceramic tile. So now comes the part where I start playing with the tile to see what kind of image I want to go around the mirror. Okay, that looks kind of nice right there. Let me see something here if I flip it around. Okay, and then that's all we do is we just play with what's here. What I'd rather have, let's see, I think I want a corner piece in each corner. Next step is I want to cut away the excess webbing on the edge if there is any and then we'll glue it down and we'll be almost done. So I 
cut off the webbing that was going to show along the edge that I didn't want to show. And now I've got all this chafe here and I'm going to pull the tiles off in order as to how they appear on the frame. And then I'm just going to quickly brush off because I really don't want those little bits to be in the way between the glue and the tile. Next we put these back in placement and I know where they went because, like I said, I had squares in the corner and the clean edge. And if you really get lost, look to see where the edge you cleaned off the webbing. And that shows you what's on the edge of the frame. And here we go. Put it back like a puzzle piece. And then I'm going to come around once we have these all replaced and set. And I'll come with glue and put them back together like a very pretty puzzle. I like the way the edge is nicely around the frame here, which meant we did a pretty good job in our measuring. So next comes the glue. Here we go. place. One of the things I liked about this tile was it is so variegated in its size of the tiles that I ran into a little gap issue here. As I'm pushing the tiles together, I'm increasing and decreasing the web space between the tiles, but I just snipped off another one of these little silver ones, slipped it into the space, and we're good to go. If there is a discrepancy in the amount of edging, this is a homemade mirror. So you can say, I made that. It has a few flaws, but it is mine. All we have to do next is clean it up and then we're good to go. We've laid all our tiles. We've glued them down. Right now I'm just running some cleaner over the mirror to clean it up. And what you'd like to do is make sure you don't have any glue on the mirror. Uh, get that off best you can. Make sure your tiles are affixed. Sometimes the layering on the tile wants to come off. And we're all set here. And the hole that you drilled originally in the board becomes the holder. And it's, this is a heavy piece. Let me show you how pretty that is. That is all I do. You could put an edging on the inside of it. You could put another edging on the outside, but I like the industrial look of this. I thought it was just really, really pretty. There are other things you could do too. And I'll show you. You could take fabric got this really pretty fabric here and you can use the fabric on your board you could use any fabric on your board um, you could use beads you could use wires you could use anything to decorate around the mirror that you're creating and what I did was I had this silver and I had this black fabric that I really thought was pretty and I ended up making a couple more mirrors let me show you using those decorative fabrics I made one in black and one in the silver absolutely beautiful. These mirrors are sturdy and strong. They're getting heavy, but you could really have some fun and create one that reflects your own personality and your own tastes. Oh gosh, you know, I'm trying to clean up and look who shows up. Are you being helpful? I don't think that you are either. Give me that. Okay. And what do we say to people? We say, if you like our channel, please subscribe, give us a like, and leave us a comment. We'd love to know what kind of reflections show up at your home when you create your own mirror. And then what do we say? You being good? We say, see you next time. <laughs>